Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. So today starts a brand new campaign and as you can tell it's an old world blues if you got my hint from yesterday, the Ukrainian video. But anyways, as you can probably tell from the title, the thumbnail, and the description, I might be playing as a certain country and that of course includes Kaiser's Legion. I accidentally said Kaiser instead of Kaiser in yesterday's video, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll play Kaiser. I have not played as Kaiser, I believe, on this channel yet. He seemed like a very interesting fellow to play as, and I figured, why not? In time, I will do the Western Brotherhood. I'll let you know. In time, I will do them. I probably might even do a new Vegas one, and maybe a few others, but I wanted to come back to Old World Blues just because I, I wanted to, pretty much. So, uh, we have Historical AI on, Custom Game Rules. I'm not going to do anything here, just leave it all blank. Historical AI focuses. Um, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun and take that off. We don't need that for now. Um, elites versus ruler. Sounds good to me, but let's start. So, within this, I have used, of course, Old World Blues. But, I will say, I have used a mod compilation, which includes a... Something for, or at least maybe something for Iron Alliance. Maybe not. Maybe Iron Alliance doesn't have anything. No, I did not put that mod on. I actually used someone else's mod that gave the Shi a different focus tree with the Shi Emperor. So they got a really nice, interesting focus tree now. Uh, that includes, was it the Yakuza? I can't remember. Does it? It does include the Yakuza as well. I haven't seen this before, so I'd be really interested to see how that goes. I have heard that sometimes the portraits don't load up. But whatever. Also, we have New Victoria who has a focus tree. Queen Victoria the Sixth. Hello, Mama. Um, and there's some others as well that I can't exactly remember off the top of my head. But I asked my Discord below. The link is in the description below. People from there, what mods should I use in Old World Blues? Because, well, I don't know if they're going to conflict with each other. But I asked them anyways. And I figured, you know what? This mod probably has the most changes that I'm not used to. So I figured, let's do it. All right? Cool. Um... The Fruminari, I remember playing this before. They're okay, they're not great. Now they've got Recon. The rest of the Legions, they're much better. Oh, they even have Medical Chem Company supports. Cool, so I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to keep you all grouped together. Fruminari, I'm going to take them off eventually, but like this for now, that's okay. And we actually have too many Legions. Two, three, four, five, six. Come over here. In time, the Pra Praetorian Guard. Now, they're special forces, it looks like, which I love. I love the Praetorian Guard. But I'm going to call in everybody to come around here. So I'm not going to be prescribing any certain way of how I'm going to play. We have four research slots. Awesome. So I can't do really robot stuff or energy stuff, which is fine. I don't care. Um, but I thought I would only have three research slots. Was that, was that always like that? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played Old World Blues, or really three weeks, maybe, since I've played this. Let's do that. That looks pretty good. Engineering stuff sounds pretty good, but as we all know, land auction is very, very important. I'm going to go with asymmetrical warfare as needed. So, everyone, move along where you need to be. Um, for the bulk of our legions right now, I can't choose anybody. Well, let's get a field marshal person. Vulpus Encota. Lucius. Ooh, who do I want to choose? This one is better attack, and I want more attack, so. Um, nice, normal stuff. The main legion, put him under Vulpus for now. Do you have anything for me, Vulpus? No? Alright, cool. Let everyone get over there. Focus first. So, Expedition to Blackfoot. The Expedition to the Blackfoot tribe was the defining point of legion history. The tribe is the founding of Khazar's Great Legion. And it was through the flames of this of the primitives' tribe's wars that the iron will of Khazar was forged. Awesome. Next up, dockyards, military stuff. Well, we need a lot of melee weaponry. We're going to need a lot of it. Um, you know what? We're playing as Khazar. We don't believe in guns like this. That's nasty. We prefer getting up and close to our enemies. Uh, scout tribal kits. Tribal scout kits. I'm going to make a few of those. Not too many. Definitely make a lot of dynamite because I'm going to put a lot of dynamite on. I don't think I'm going to need scrap motorcycles, but definitely get a lot of this as well. Uh, give me more of that. That looks pretty good. Dockyards. We're not really going to focus very much on our navy here. But if we have to use it, definitely get me one of these thingies. And I'll combine all the navies into North Phoenix eventually. And Cutter Hole Mark 1. This looks like a screen. And the most expensive type of screen that we can have. So this sounds very good to me. North Phoenix. 
Looking nice. We need some more supplies. We need to use our factories. Now, obviously, as Kaisar, rejection, rejection of automation. Really trying to build stuff up isn't going to be great for us. But we'll do what we can. So, like normal, I'm just going to keep building stuff. We're, we're just going to conquer more factories. Actually, you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun here. Uh, the Red Sun City... Will, Wow, we're really not going to make anything here. Never mind. I was going to make some military factories as well, but if we only have one, that's not good. Tribal Militia. Well, really, I want to make more Legionaries. So, oh, I want to make some more Praetorian Guards. Do that. Do that. Give me one at a time. I'm not going to focus super hard on Praetorian Guards for now. They will be the Special Forces, but that'll wait in time. Legionaries, that's going to be the main guys on the line. Make me six at a time. That'll be good. Don't want to hurt our stockpile of stuff, and we're going to lose some territory in the beginning because we are already at war with the Twisted Hairs. We don't like our hairs twisted. Uh, the Great Khans, sure. That's fine for now. We're going to let all of our soldiers get up to the front line, hold the line as best we can, and then attempt to ram ourselves into the enemy's butts as best as possible. And we also have two ships. Mm, come to North Phoenix, my friends. Oh, we're... Wait, um... Uh, off. Oh, New Orleans! Cool. Where are you? You're... Okay, you're in this part of the river where none of the enemies can reach unless they go that far out through the Mississippi River to the Gulf of Mexico, through Mexico, up the Gulf of California to get up to Phoenix. What the heck? Wow. Anyway, so... The Expedition of Blackfoot. The Expedition of the Blackfoot tribe was def the defining moment of Legion history. The tribe is a formation or foundation of Kaisar's Great Legion. It was through the flames of this primitive uh, tribe's wars that the Iron Will of Kaiser was forged. I already read this. Lessons were to weapon maintenance. More reliability. That's not bad. Explosion explosives creation. So we can produce more demolition stuff or unit tactics. I think the biggest one that pays off in the long run will be unit tactics. So legionary unit tactics. We love our divisions. Death in the canyons. The earliest years of the Legion were also some of the most brutal. In his conquest of the canyons, Kaisar brutally slaughtered three of the local tribes. Each act just as cruel, but one act gained particular infamy in the wastes. God, I'm, I like being this intense. Oh, look at all this stuff. Ooh, wait. Stage in incidents. What the heck? At Tierra Ar Amarela border. Prerequisites. Active for three days when removed. Tusayan gets a... Oh, I don't remember this. And I'm going to disable this stuff because we don't really need it. Uh, Klingman border. Instantly cancelled if something happens. You can get more factories in Zuni if we do that. This is Golden Valley. Kingman. Yeah, I'm not really worried about this right now. Just... Go ahead and just get to where you need to be. They're not going to take us over. How much... How many divisions they got? They got eh, a few, but we definitely have more than them, which is good. Uh, political power. 9, 0.9 a day. Stability is going up maybe a little bit, maybe? So, I already read this. So, one act that happened was stability and war support. Ridger's Pyre. Division recovery rate. Fredonians. Um, that's nice and all, but in training time, that won't really be a problem. Stability is nice and all. That's, but, division recovery, I'm focusing very hard on my units. So, the Malpais Legate. Joshua Graham, the Malpais Legate, was the co-founder of the Legion and Kaiser's greatest servant, a shrewd, cunning general. An early act cemented his legend across the Legion and formed the basis of his military prowess. Nice. I'm trying to stretch out the enemy here, stretch out their uh, lines, but I don't know if it's really working or not. Probably not really working that well. Um, before we move on... Ah, oh, yeah. Tactics. So it's 150. Do we get any political advisors? Got us down. And hides his teeth. Oh, that's not bad. Arizona Sheriff. I need to complete the focus. Legion Outlaws. Wyatt the Demon. That's not bad. Vulpus and Culta. But Prefect Lucius. Oh, I might go with Prefect Lucius. Ah, oh, and there we go. Form the basis of his military... Prow was he burnt Phoenix to the ground. We get a general, spawn three lock template siege divisions with one explosive companies. He outwitted the Red Suns, two motorized legion chariot divisions. Ooh. 
and hunted his enemies to the last. Free Frumentari divisions with the Recon Company. Well, I would like Chariot divisions, but I'm not going to focus very much on motorized, so we're not going to do that, or bicycles or whatever. Um, siege divisions with explosive companies sound like fun, but they're locked. And I don't want to have that locked, so we might as well do Frumentari divisions just because we already have those. Makes things easy. I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, oh well. What happens, happens. Just throw them on the line. They'll be... That was a bad idea for me. I made a mistake. Oh well. Um, Kaisar, son of Mars. Kaisar's will is law. He is a god amongst men, the son of the god of war, Mars. All in his legion live to serve him as a blade serves his master. He is a teacher and master of the tribes under him, and in his conquest taught them many lessons. Awesome. I, can't, I still can't believe I clicked on that. I really thought I clicked on something else, which means... Oops, my bad. Not invented, not invented. Ooh, Weirgio needs some aircraft eventually. Go ahead and throw this at the top. Um, I don't mind minusing one of you guys. To at least make some scrap motorcycles so that these divisions can at least do okay-ish. Um, Alright, guys. Well, I didn't tell you guys to attack yet, so just keep moving on in. Actually, this would be a great place for the uh, motorized, but whatever. I don't really care about that much. Awesome! They're not panicking, which is okay with us. We don't need to panic yet. Take Kingman. You move up north. You're getting attacked. That's fine with me. We'll start attacking soon once everyone's settled and stuff like that. Oh, and chief among them, in teaching them lessons, destroy the prol prolificate. Eh, partisans don't really matter very much. Decimatio. Ooh, less population, but less military leader cost. Eh, divide et impera. I like that one. Probably most, because this one, par partisans don't really matter too much. Decimatio, that's okay. I don't want to lose any population whatsoever. Yeah, military cost goes down, but it's only 10%. So let's do organization loss when moving. That will be good for us. Now we can actually choose what we want to do. We can do Lessons of the Old World, which would be pretty good since we need that bonus for land doctrines. Denarius. More political power zones be good. Or we can get some more factories. Or we can do Alia Lacta Est. It only takes seven days, which sounds pretty good. And then we can get some uh, war goals against these enemy nations. So we'll probably do that first. It only takes... Uh, seven days. And, um... Uh, the Dias cast, the words spoken by Kaiser's namesake as he stood against Rome. These are the words that began the immortal empire. The words that shall, again, herald Kaiser's great empire. So, um, regarding this campaign, I do want to let you know... Ooh, that is not good. Go ahead and attack that way. Um, guys, I need you to attack and destroy these divisions a little bit faster. Please get over here and over here so that we can cover these areas up. Uh, I do want to try to make this a full, full, like, world conquest. All the way down from, like, northern Central America all the way up to Alaska. I want to try to make this a full game. That's what my goal is. Oh, that is not good. Go ahead and move in that way. Come on, guys. Kill these guys off faster, please. Um, over here, you guys should definitely be able to take out these guys. Taking the motorcycles as well. Even though it's actually just motorized divisions. Um, ah, the dais cast. Now, do we want to go to war? Two sons, coaches, coaches, county cowboys, twin mothers. Well, twin mothers, hang dogs, two sons, cowboys. Well, let's see. Cowboy country. How many divisions you got right now? Not many. We might want to take these guys out first. That'll give us more areas or access to the sea. Tarno Nation. Two. Oh, but two sons. Ooh, they got quite a few divisions. You know what? Let's take out the Cowboys first. So that would open up a much wider front against two sons. Let's go to war with the Cowboys. All right. The, the Cochise Caucus County Cowboys are a tribe that worship old symbols of cowboys. They intercept local travelers and caravans frequently, and they have a unique skill in guerrilla warfare. Now what are we going to choose? Early mobilization might be good. Military theorists would be very good. Over here, we can't really choose anybody. You can choose either one of these. It doesn't really matter. Daily intellectual support. Just kind of not up there. Army of offense. That actually might be good to do. Army of offense now. Since we are attacking. And we can't do anything up here. Oh, but I love military theorist. I could choose this instead. Really, I'm not even going to focus that much on the economy. So, I want to I do this. Let's get some more attacks since we are currently attacking anyways. 
good. Just get rid of these divisions. I don't mind sacrificing this one if I can get rid of two enemy divisions. Come on, and... Good. Move up. You can stop attacking now. Go south. Go south, young man. Alright, so we're getting attacked over here, which is okay. Yeah, the first battles are never the easiest. Um, yep, they took it back. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Totally fine right now. Uh, you guys, all hold tight. Just defend for now, except for you. You're attacking that way, which is good. Push in a little bit harder. Now you can help attack Kingman. And then we'll do a small little attack. Oh, you're getting attacked right there. That's not good. Um, you guys... Oh, Mipus. Yeah, that'll be fine for now. Um, any upgrades? Offensive Doctrine? Well, you're only a general for now. Lucius is the Field Marshal. Give me Offensive Doctrine. Even more attack on this guy. If we attack, we probably won't have that much success. But I don't care. Take Peach Springs? That would be great. Yeah, it's got a good amount of manpower. The Growing Village, they're already on all adults serve. Wowzers. And Desert Rangers declare one of the Jackals. Very nice. Oh, we actually lost a battle here, but we're going to take Peach Springs, hopefully. Go ahead and start pushing in, guys. I don't want to wait too long for this. New commander, Centurion Deodatus. And he's a defender. Awesome. Just be a little careful. We will wear them out, which is the most important thing, but, you know. Always good to keep an eye on everything. Oh, and I missed a day for two things. Oh, well, three things. Whatever. Construction speed, thank you. Mm, I always do the top one, because I don't like debuffs work as needed and then I am not civilized oh wait no I am civilized I thought I wasn't I'm only I thought I was only tribal ah, let's do some more research speed then only 61 factories though yeah not great but not bad we won't win every battle but that's pretty normal especially early on I'm trying to get a lot of XP so we can get a lot of dynamite that's gonna be very very important lots and lots and lots and lots of dynamite dynamite Dynamite. Dynamite. Cool. Come on, get us some XP. Awesome. Not bad. It's just going to take a little bit of time. And then we can go to war almost immediately with the Cowboys. Not the football team. That'd be interesting, though, if we fought the Dallas Cowboys. But whatever. Alright, alright. Keep applying more pressure on them. That division will crack eventually. Even though we are not doing great either. Oh well. Nice. Now we could do other ones right now, but we're going to wait. Let's go ahead and do Lessons of the Old World. Kaiser taught us much, and his lessons have taken root. Each day we learn more of the true meaning of war. Each day our armies become stronger, our warriors more fierce. We get a ton more army XP, 50. And then we also get a double bonus to land auction, which will come in very, very handy for what we're about to do in this campaign. Oh, we made an encirclement. Beautiful, my guys. Beautiful. Losses, 314 versus 863. Could be worse. Could be much worse, seeing as I've had no time to upgrade these divisions whatsoever. Keep running at them with our melee weapons, guys. You're doing a great job. Stage incident at the Hoppy Border. Gallo Mountain. Where's Gallo? If we do this, we can get another arms workshop there. Wait. Why there? Stage incident at Hoppy Border. Well, let's see what happens. When removed, we have 61 factories now. Oh, it, it left. Okay. Um. Do we get a factory? 60. We only have 61 still. Maybe that was a waste of time. Maybe that was. Maybe that wasn't. I don't know. Militarized society? I'm not going to lower my stability. No, thank you. Yeah, maybe that was a waste of time. I don't know. You guys are still doing okay. Anyone have upgrades yet? From attacking... Oh, Vulpus. Yes, you do. Good job, Vulpus. Good flipping job. Losses are doing pretty well, surprisingly. But uh, that army XP. So, really, we have quite a bit of demo equipment. Go ahead and put this on the Praetorian Guard. 
they're gonna need it. And do special forces, make it time combat with, that'd be for the best. I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna use power armor, I'm only gonna use the Praetorian Guard or special forces in this playthrough, since we're playing Kaisar's Legion, so. Um, reinforce rates, yeah, that sounds good. Reinforce a little bit faster, please, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know as, as you play Kaiser's Legion and you take over more territories, you kind of get you kind of forget that everyone else exists, like the NCR or the what Western Brotherhood, just because you're so focused on taking all these smaller nations around you, just eating them up. I always just forget that that everyone else exists. It's not really good. Ooh. Oh, it's better to attack here to encircle these divisions in the south. So I'm gonna actually help make you stop attacking. I want you to attack here. I want you four to stop attacking. I want this northern portion to win. And then you're going to kill this division off. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Ah, oh, creation of our own desire. Lessons of the old world. Beautiful as well. Now, I'm going to come back to this because this stuff is all important. But the way you do this can be kind of annoying because this gives you buffs and debuffs. Praetorian Guard sounds like fun, but it kind of hurts you quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems pretty pretty harsh. Uh, I like that for more recruitable population, but you lose division attack, which I don't like at all. Non-core manpower is pretty good. Division organization is pretty good. Yeah, I don't like less attack. But anyways, let's do Denarius next. The, min the minting of new coins melted down from the weapons and wealth of defeated enemies will be the ultimate proof of the Legion's strength and its superiority as a powerful economic force. Not just military, no. Militarily, we are great. But also, our economy will be unrivaled, unmatched by those who are inferior. It feels weird playing an another pretty authoritarian country after I played as a nationalist Ukrainians in my last campaign, but whatever. Things happen, and sometimes I run out of time and can't figure out how to play another country before I need to actually do it. So, oh well. Uh, insufficient resources, losses. As long as we don't hit a thousand, I'll feel pretty good about this war. And they're almost capitulated. Does anyone else have a... Vulpus. Vulpus. You're doing a great job. You're a panzer leader, but what the heck is a panzer? He's a mountaineer. Nice. Um, yeah, of course, Desert Fox. Oh, it looks like the Washington Brotherhood might have won. Oh, and someone is starving. That's how we treat our enemies with through starvation. Oh, but attack them in the butt, and then they die. Let's see. The Jackals, Desert Rangers, Washington Brotherhood. I was thinking about playing as Washington Brotherhood for this campaign, but it didn't happen. Thank you. Take all states and immediately go down to the Cowboys. Because we're going to go to war immediately. We could begin a scavenging program. See, I did this last time. It didn't give me anything. It didn't give me an arms workshop. I almost said a worms workshop. Maybe I'm wrong. If I was wrong, please let me know. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But I didn't get that factory. Let me know. Um, we're going to begin a scavenging program as well. Because why not? Prioritize consumer technology. Uh, Yeah, research is okay. But I want more weekly stability. I definitely want more stability. Because I'm going to be at war almost all the time. Awesome. So you guys are doing okay. Naval Commander under Centurion Victor. Naval AI goes down, which is fine since this, since the AI in this game or this mod doesn't really focus on planes at all. Capital ship attack. Thank you. Train. Really, there's no point for you to not train. Um, give our guys a little bit of time, and then we'll just go straight to war. Ah, foraging. Great. Sup how to supply? Supply grace. Worked as needed and woodworking. So, next up is Improvised Obstructions. Spend 40 to get a 40% bonus during research. Nice. More army attack and max entrenchment. Followed up with... Um, division training time. That's okay. I'm glad we're civilized because I'm going to focus very heavily on the air. We'll have air legions. Improvised tools. And then we will go with... Work camps... Sell energy. Oh no! Organize agriculture for that monthly population and recruitable population factor. Because since we will lose some of our population as we go down our folk, our land doctrine, combat language. Nice reinforce rate. Let's get some more decryption. Three, two, one. Wait. Invite to cut. We can invite people to our legion. 
Mutually positive relations with their leader. I did not know that. Oh, that's new. But I don't care. People, degenerates, must be taught a lesson. People who believe in cowboy stuff like that must be taught. Now, obviously, next we gotta go, go to war with someone else. I think I'll go to war with two sons. Just because they probably deserve it. Yeah, let's do that next, since we're already down here. Um, I did forget this, though. Frumentari, let's throw on some of that, uh, Dem companies. Those Kaboom companies. Does hurt that quite a bit. Um... Yeah, you could probably use more factories, man. Do that. Definitely need quite a few. We only make about 1.7, 1.8 a day. Well, as we take off more and more factories, that'll be okay. So, Two Sons, you're next. The city of Two Sons is home to a band of roving tribals who use restored vehicles to race through the ruined high rises. Their mastery of motor vehicles is known throughout the Legion. Glorious. And when we're done with the cowboys, we're going to take out Two Sons. And then when we're done with Two Sons, we'll take out the Twin Mothers or the Hanging Dogs. Or the Hang Dogs. Probably Twin Mothers. Because they're probably a little bit easier. Not that many divisions. Hang Dogs. Not that many divisions either. Nice, we're doing well on demo equipment, infantry equipment, support equipment. Really needs more help. Um, I don't want to do this, but we'll do this. Cool. Since we got, we got right now more than enough basic melee weaponry. Brumentari, let's increase you to a little bit better, bigger, so you fit a little bit better. We're just missing support equipment. That's all we're missing. All right, guys, I want you to go ham. There you go. We have finished the reference manual, as well as we will do a secret language for more encryption at the moment. Beautiful, I know, very, very beautiful. Siege on, seize on patriotism. Research speed, I don't want to hurt my stability. Mobilize the people, militarize society. Weekly war support. Um, That's nice. I'm going to wait until I can at least get to um, early mobilization, perhaps. Looks like we made an encirclement. Great. Let's save up our political power for now, at least a little bit. You guys are doing an awesome, awesome job. Amazing. No one else has upgrades. Vulpus is level 5. Dang. Oh. And he just became a little bit sick. Oh, yes. Starvation. I love when my enemies starve. Oh. And you know what you do when they starve? You attack them in the butt. Organized agriculture. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Seed selection. I love selecting my seeds. More population and recruitable population factor. How many men have died? How many cowboys? We've killed a thousand cowboys in exchange for 17 legendaries. Legionaries. Amazing. Um, I need a lot of this. And then give me some more of this. And then give me a little bit more of that. And then give me a lot of that. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, give me, give me a lot of that when we're done here. Alright, next up is two sons. Awesome. We only have... Let's see. Math. 36 divisions, which is definitely more than two sons. Or at least it should be more than two sons. Yep, it's definitely more than two sons. So we should be okay as we go to war. Of course, now I'm going to have to integrate cowboy countries. Or the cowboys, so whatever. So far, I would say this is a fairly successful first episode. Uh, we got 20 naval XP. Greatness, greatness, greatness. Oh, the Shifting Alliances. Veil Band has joined the Phantasma Cartel. Interesting, interesting. What are the she up to? Crimson... Who is that woman? Oh, Rule the Night. America's Advantages. Crimson Navy. Fix the Addictions. Who are you? Yui Lan. Two sons. Nice. Next up, since we're going to go to war and might win this war fairly easily, maybe, I don't know, we'll go to war with the Twin Mothers next. The Twin Mothers are a backwards tribe where the women rule and they worship a false god named Diana. They are renowned for their focus on educating and healing. Which sounds like that could really help us. That could actually probably really help us. Um, let's go to war first and see what happens. Since they can't even cover their own area. Awesome. And can I go to... Yes! I'm glad I waited. Now I can go to partial mobilization. Ah, genius, I know. Put you at the bottom. Let's repair all this other stuff first. The cause was annexed. And then we'll go to war with Twin Mothers, where there's really not a great way for us to attack them, it looks like. It's just 
Lots of attacks through here. NCR declared war on the Veiled Bandits. Beautiful. Oh, we're not winning in all locations, but we don't have to win in all locations, especially when they leave their capital completely undefended. Secret language. Awesome. Uh, a little bit ahead of time. Mm, support. Oh, I forgot about support companies. Last time I went with flamers, because the earlier time I went with grenades. Um, I'm going to need to do logistic companies eventually, but I want to get some grenades. Give me some of the more of that soft attack. Fragmentation grenades. Nothing says Kaisar's Legion like fragmentation grenades. Kaboom. Oh, yeah, we can scavenge. Roll out technology to scavengers for 50 days. Faster research. Nothing says Kaisar's Legion like faster research. Uh, you might want to try to get down there. You might want to stop these guys from going that way. And if you can take out this division faster than they can take out these guys, then you might be able to encircle that division and kill them off. Yeah, you might just be able to kill them. Tasty. No agles? Alright, you got to be capitulating soon. Not, not yet, but soon enough. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be going too ham. Do that. Let you guys get reorganized. He's an infantry expert now. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Improvise obstructions. I love more soft attack. Now, wasteland tactics. Who likes wasteland tactics? Um, it's not bad so far. It's looking okay. Army breakthrough, I like that. Effective partisans. Um, that's not bad, actually. That's better than I thought it was before. So here we get... Let's see. 5% breakthrough. 5% soft attack. So we get 10% breakthrough, 5% soft attack. So that's really on the right side of the tree is 10% breakthrough, 5% hard attack, soft attack. And on the left side, the army gets 5% soft attack and 3% breakthrough. 9% soft attack, 3% breakthrough. T Wait, wow. That's 13% breakthrough, which is more important than soft attack in my opinion. Because I don't want to take that many losses. Well, actually, that could be debatable. I think I prefer soft attack over a breakthrough, but they're, they're very, very important. Defense is always good. Um, breakthrough. Division combat width. Usually I go on the left. Special forces capacity goes up. Yeah, usually... Oh, recruitable population decimation? For the army, they, they take less supply use. Division attrition. Oh, this is tough to choose. This is tough. More breakthrough. Yeah, this has more, I think, more emphasis on, like, partisans and stuff. Leg infantry. You know what? Let's just go with ancient tactics. We're, we're Kaisar. I don't want to think about anything else. We're Kaisar. It's... It's do. Don't think. Just do. Alright, and we will end this episode soon, but I want to make sure that we can actually take Tombstone. That'll probably be the end of Two Sons. Uh, well, maybe not. Nope, it wasn't the end of them. That's interesting. It's kind of disappointing. How many points do I need to take? Also, since we're here, we got more than enough demo equipment. Um, Rumentari. Not bad. Legendaries. Go ahead and throw that on there. We need it. Come on. Just take Hilltop, please. Uh, they want to attack. I'm going to attack them again, too. Because I want this division to be able to get to Planta Grupo. Ah, there we go. Good enough. Take all states. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. And that was them. Awesome. Let's go up and go to Twin Mothers. Now we should have, hopefully, enough... Uh, divisions with at least some explosives and a little bit of equipment support. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, we even have some a few APCs. Cool. Improvised tools. Awesome. And then we'll do... This is only point zero seven years ahead of time. But we gotta do really do gliders. But that's all the time for we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. The first one in our Kaiser 
Legion campaign. So if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I hope you all have a great, great day.